I'm Matthew Keeble, and I'm standing at the historic Kino Hills Silver Mine in Yukon Territory. Today I'm here with President and CEO Clint Nauman of Alexco Resources, and we're standing in front of the future portal of the Flame and Moth Deposit. Thanks for joining us, Clint. And thanks for coming to Kino Hill. And I think maybe to start, it's a very historic mine, obviously, um, but you guys have had some really great exploration success recently. You know, this, uh, this district uh, was in production for 60, 70 years, uh, produced a couple hundred million ounces of silver at an average production grade of 40 ounces per ton. So it really is one of the premier silver producing districts in the world. And uh, certainly one of the best assets that we acquired here was all of the historical information. And uh, we have converted a lot of that information, we've digitized it all, and we simply moved around the district initially and, and with basic field geology, nothing fancy, just basic field geology, we have been able to figure out what the ore controls are in this district. And as a result of that, we have two significant blind discoveries, one of which we're standing on here at Flame of Moth and a second one at Birmingham, and there's not a question in my mind that there'll be further discovery. And so digging into what we have at Flame and Moth and your Birmingham discovery, which <coughs> is the other really headliner, um, you, you did recently raise $13 million. Uh, you're doing 8,000 meters so far. Um, so maybe if you just want to elaborate a little bit on what the plans are uh, uh, for the, the near term. First of all, we're, you know, we're standing here at Flame and Moth, and, uh, and beneath this essentially there's about one and a half million tons of uh, mineralized material above 500 grams per ton. It is without doubt um, one of the highest grade or will be one of the highest grade silver producing uh, deposits in the world. We'll be starting work here in a couple of weeks to establish this portal which will be the, the top of the decline uh, to access the flame and moth deposit. Um, and then the other part of our program this year is a, is a fairly significant drilling program at this other discovery we have at Birmingham, which of course is, um, you know, where we have uh, a number of holes into um, a zone of mineralization that grades anywhere from one and a half to more than five kilograms of silver uh, per ton. And uh, it is absolutely typical of the original discoveries that were made in this district, other than the fact that it's buried 150 meters from the surface. <laughs> exactly. And, and one of the interesting things you mentioned is we are standing next to Alexco's mill. Um, and so the infrastructure uh, you have here allows you to build critical mass quickly. As, as you discover ounces, um, the mill gives you that advantage of having, and also power as well, uh, road access. So maybe if you just want to talk a little bit about uh, processing metallurgy, um, what you're looking at in terms of, of m moving the flame and moth ore and also the Birmingham ore. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's uh, so. So one of the advantages of Keno Hill is that uh, it sits on an all-weather highway. Um, there is a uh, you know there, there's an electrical grid that's uh, strung in here, a hydroelectric dam that was built specifically to provide power for this district. The mill we have here is a 400 ton per day uh, conventional flotation mill, so it produces a lead concentrate and a zinc concentrate. Um, the lead concentrate uh, is, typically a, um, is typically a premium type of product. Um, it has very high grade silver, generally five to 6,000 grams per ton silver um, in, the, in the product from here. And, and interesting, I mean, uh, we've talked about the success of Discovery here. Is, is there still efforts going on to maybe find even more? Absolutely, uh, absolutely. Uh, at, uh, yeah, you know, absolutely. I think that, uh, you, you know, the proof is in the pudding. And, and we have two blind discoveries here over the course of the last three or four years. Uh, no question in my mind that there'll be additional discoveries of flame and moth or Birmingham type in this district. And yeah, so it's, it's exciting all around. So it's, uh, it's been great to talk to you, Clint. Thanks so much again. I'm Matthew Keevil on site at the Kino Hill Silver Mine in the Yukon Territory.